So in this video, I'm gonna see how much I can improve on controller by having no experience at all from before. I mean, I had some experience playing Xbox in 2018, but that doesn't count. And I'll only have 7 days. So on day 1, I ended up doing some 1v1s against my friend that is new to keyboard. This is how they ended up going. I don't want to bore you, so I'm just gonna show you the highlights of these 1v1s. Oh, man. So in the peace control one v ones I barely ended up winning 10 to 9. After this, we played speed realistic one v ones I remember to stick around till day 7 so you can see how good I actually ended up getting in 7 days. So in the speed realistics, which is best of 14, I ended up winning 8 to 6. Oh my gosh, I was 3 HP. So I didn't have time to practice anything more on day 1. So on day 2, I practiced my mechanics by playing the Raiders mechanics map V4. This was actually really good practice for my mechanics which I really needed. If anyone's deciding to switch from controller to keyboard or keyboard to controller, then I really recommend grinding out this map as it really helps. I also started practicing double edits in Martos' 1v1 map. And hitting a double edit was one of my goals for the end of the week. So stick around if you want to see if I actually end up hitting it or not. On day 2 I also ended up doing some 1v1s. Which was really fun. These are the highlights from the 1v1s. And just look at this insane clip that I hit on this real guy. Yeah, definitely. Just give it some time. Takes a bit. And look at that clean mongrel classic. That's definitely going to the next one. Oh. So I didn't have a lot of time to practice on day 3. But trust me, I'll practice way more on day 4, 5, 6 and 7. Since I didn't have a lot of time, all I ended up doing was some 1v1s. So day 4 was by far the best day I had this whole 7 days. I free built for ages, like 30 minutes or something, and I learned a lot from that. It was actually really enjoyable to just sit there and free build and listen to music. You can see here, I practiced full piecing people. I was really bad at it at first, and I started to get the hang of it after a bit. After I'd learned how to full piece people, I decided to try to learn a high ground retake. I started out with this really easy protective high ground retake, that was basically just two ramps and a few walls. After that, I tried to learn another high ground retake, which was a bit harder. Here I practiced double editing down, which was actually really hard. It took me ages to get the hang of this, but I never really got really good at it. I did get a lot faster though. This might have been one of the most fun things that I did while free building. After I practiced infinite 90s. So instead of doing normal 90s with walls, you just cut out the walls and don't jump. And that's basically an infinite 90. And it was the same as all of the other things. It was hard at first and then it became easier and easier. I thought it would be way easier. Because all it is is placing a floor and a stair at the right time. But I just couldn't get the timing right. After I had free build for a while, I ended up doing some winning ones against randoms. Here's how they went. Here is where the full piece practice came in. I kept destroying this guy. I was so good I made him rage quit. Just look at this. So as you guys saw right there, I just combined day 5 and 6. Because they did basically the same on both days. 
I just played Martos Turtle Fights FFA, which was really fun and it was actually really good practice. So yeah, here are the clips I got. These are just basic clips that I couldn't play that much on day 5 and 6. So yeah, they're not that good clips, but they're the clips I got. If you made it this far into the video, then comment turtle fight so I can see who made it this far and to make everyone else really confused. Thank you so much for staying till this part of the video, it really helps a lot. I don't really know what to say to keep you guys engaged, so I'm just gonna put this on the screen. Nah, no, I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna keep that on the screen. It's soon the final day, so just stay a little bit longer and you'll see the end. On the final day, I played a lot of Forever Zone Wars. I feel like this was the ultimate test, as here, you literally practice everything, you practice building, editing, aim, everything. So this challenge was actually really fun to do, so if you're bored playing Fortnite, I recommend trying to switch your inputs and try that again, as it really made me enjoy the game again, and I found a fully new perspective of the game. So yeah, I recommend it if you're bored playing Fortnite, I really recommend just switching inputs and trying everything out. So as you guys can see, I was kind of struggling a bit with my mechanics. My aim with the Frenzy Auto Shotgun was actually really good, but my aim with the other shotguns were kind of bad, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is all I had for today. It was really fun doing this challenge. If you have any other challenges that you would like me to do, then comment down, down below and yeah, thank you for watching.